Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Sophie called me, but I was on the phone with my son, so I couldn't I couldn't answer it, and now I don't know where she is, and now I'm freaking out because she said she was going to ride. Oh my God, she's riding her horse. <laughs> she's riding her horse without supervision, which is just in the field. It's fine. She's old enough, she's 14. She can do that, but I, I like to be there. But look what I just noticed. We gotta do something. Tell me what to do. Send me an email. <laughs> Tell me what to do about this pony who's a jealous thing. I feel so bad for her. Isn't it so sad? She's so sad. I know. <laughs> she just wants to be with Sophie. Sophie does a lot with this pony. I know, you're on, sorry. I was talking to Nick. Shoot! Hold on. I <laughs> Took me a minute to open this gate and all of a sudden I just look over and she's oh what's wrong with your neck? Got a little cut? Here, Somebody biting you? Yeah. Like this, with one foot like up higher and one foot on the stool still. So I put her close to the, the fence so I could grab onto the fence. How is she? Sick of this. She's like, what are you doing? Do you know why? She's like, what's crap? Do you know why, lady? Do you know what you know what motivates Sophie to ride? What motivates you to ride? When she goes outside and the horse meets her at the gate, even if Sophie's not going near the gate, and she starts neighing and saying, "Come on, come on, let's ride." Well, if you leave her in the field for a day, she's like the next day. She's this like, way, what? Minutes. Yeah, if she just takes a day to have a rest, and then if she's like, "Come on, let's do something." But like, if I swing my legs around at all, she's like, "Stop." Yeah. Well, she this. Is, yeah. If you put your head down now, I'm going to fall. <laughs> put it down, put it down. No. But look, when I was talking just a second ago, I heard all the turkeys come running. Yeah, see the ducks flying? And guineas. And the guineas. It's actually gorgeous out right now. Gorgeous. It's like windy and cold, like fall. I actually feel fall in the air. Like there's feelings that come with every season. Every like there's all these feelings like there's a feeling that comes. Do you guys get that? Do you get a feeling that comes with each season? Swing legs around. Stop. It kills me. <laughs> All right. Let's she see what happens. Legs around, she stops and I echo on her neck. So she, uh, so she thinks Sophie's going to fall. She stops. Me. Which is so super cute. See? Me. Stops. Anyway, I feel fall. I feel fall is happening. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, if Sophie's standing still, honey's fine. But if Sophie's like riding around with honey, with lady, that's when she gets mad. It's the weirdest thing. I mean, it's an easy way to work out both horses at the same time. I feel sad for her though. Sophie's gonna play with her in a bit too. I have so many videos on my phone of Sophie like lunging her and playing things with her. Like almost every day Sophie does stuff with the minis. I just don't always have time to, to film it. And maybe that's why lady, that's why honey is so confused because it's usually honey that she's doing stuff with. Oh, I wouldn't want to go up that hill. And she stopped. Yeah, she's a really nice horse. So I was editing the final riding video today and literally they looked awful riding. Like if you didn't, uh, on the show, Lady looked horrible because the footing was awful because it was rainy. It wasn't like so super thick mud. It wasn't like dangerous thick mud that's uh, boot sucking mud. It was just like the top layer of the, of the arena was wet and she didn't like it and they all looked funny going in it, but just watching it was stressful because she really looked unhappy in there. She really didn't move very well in there. Then by the end, when it started to dry up, she started to move better and her last class, the flat class, was the nicest, nice, nicest thing she did of the show. But there's gonna be a championship show, so we're gonna see if Sylvia will make it to the championship. She won, she placed in every single division of both the shows that she went to and the ribbons only went to fifth place. So she was like fifth or higher. She got like twos, threes, fours, and fives. She got, she placed in a whole range. And the only two times she didn't place, the only two trips that she didn't place were um, ones that Sophie forgot the course. I saw Honey pushing her butt up against the fence and pushing with all her might. I swear that's how she loosened the last fence. But that's what she does. She pushes up against it with her whole body until it stretches. Sophie likes to do just a couple of minutes of bareback. 
Anyway, what I was saying before was that I feel fall in the air. I love it. Fall is my favorite season. And my favorite falls of all time are when it starts early and lasts longer. So I love fall to start in August. Sometimes it starts in August here. It starts to get colder in August. And in September, we have like really cold mornings and really cold nights, but we have hot days. Oh, favorite. I hate when you like dress with sweaters and hoodies in the morning and then by afternoon you're dead. Another thing that's been really great is that sometimes the ground can get really hard, but this year we've had so much water that it's, that it's still super spongy, which has made riding way better for her, for us. She seems so much better now that she's not in the mud. She is trying to break the fence. Like, she kind of looks like she's scratching on it, but I swear, she's like trying to break in. I was watching a video today of like a little baby leading out a miniature pony, and it was a young horse, and it was just leading it all by itself, and I was thinking like, a baby could do that with Honey too. She's good, like she would let a baby lead her, but that pony was so mild-mannered and passive, and Honey is not. She is so, <laughs> she is such a not easy-going pony. But I love, like, spirited ponies. It's my favorite. Looking for my mother's eyes As I'm staying close to the mirror A lock of gold, a secret smile Little things I remember Plays a hand upon my heart As her, she was a believer She's gonna try and trot without having to pick up her reins. Except for steering. Steering storms hard. Just... Look at the clouds. Whoa. We thought there was a jump there. This is just like when Gabby was 11 and 12 and 13 and I'd have to go out and sit there and watch while she rode her pony. Oh, that was... She's really putting her head down. Yeah. Canner. You're gonna canner? Yeah. Remember everything you learned in your lesson. Don't push her into it. Feel like Good girl, that was nice. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Remember, slow and calm. That was nice. Just slow little bursts of canter. That's what the coach has her doing because Lady is new to it and she's just getting, and she gets like super excited about it. We can tell she's anxious about the canter because it's not something she's done. Yeah, so, I mean, she's obviously cantered through fields and stuff, but not with a rider on her. Time changes That was really pretty. Huh? That was. Hi. What? Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Lady does not look where she's going. Good girl. Yeah, this is her best way. Yeah, she was really good. You should do that every day, like okay. four days a week or something. Just come out, walk, trot her, and then a couple of seconds of canter at the end. She's getting better at cantering. Yeah, she's doing really good. She's a good, good horse. I feel God brought her to us. Or Chino, or Stella, I don't know. I looked over, and lady was staring into the horse field. She looked so concerned. Oh, we're, and then I look over there, you guys can't see it. But Penny's in there, smooching up to storm, so we're pretty sure she's in heat. A lady maybe is jealous. Are you jealous? <laughs> Probably not. Hi, lovely lady. 
I don't have any treats. Hi, lovely man. <sighs> don't you wish you weren't gelded? Everybody's in heat on the day by day farm right now. Just take a look. Yep, she's in heat. Be nice, be nice to my girl. He's like, don't worry, I wanna be nice to her. <laughs> Horses are so funny. I'm gonna get my girl a treat. I miss her. Sometimes I feel like I'm so busy I don't really have like the time to do the things I wanna do. This week we have been, last week, we have been starting that program. I forget what it's called, I always forget. Like, it's, there's something that you do where you increase the, the dietary needs of your goats. Like, you increase what you give them. So like we, Last week we gave them their, no, last week we gave them their copper bolus. We give them like copper orally. Okay, I'm gonna clean my things while I'm on. Um, bring the girth inside, I'll clean it, clean the saddle, clean everything. Okay, I'll be right back. So this week I'm gonna give them their selenium shots. We do it every year and I do it just before, um, before breeding season. I can't believe we're already like at breeding season. Penny! Penny! Oh, you're alone. I don't like giving her treats when like the storm's out here because he's so pushy. Hi, baby! Hi! Why don't you have a fly mask on? Oh, because it was raining? Sam doesn't like to put fly masks on when it's raining because it makes it so dark for them. Uh-oh. And just like that, there's trouble. I mean, honey. Ha, baby. Ha, baby. Yeah, you guys are so sweet. I saw a couple of comments of people saying that Sophie doesn't fit in her saddle, but she really does fit in her saddle. I just want to make her life a bit <laughs> I don't think they could. But, well, trying to. no, I mean, people just say what they want to say. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't just people being people. This is not working. I'm glad to see you cleaning it all, though. You guys, they just posted the results of the show. You had to show. So, Sophie wasn't ready before the first show, so they only showed two. Okay, so you had to show two shows out of the three to make it to the championships and sophie wasn't ready for the first show so she had to show she could only show the last two shows and she's in fourth place they're taking seven i think in each division to go to the championships and she's fourth in both divisions that she showed um so she gets to go to the championships for both so the championships is an away um show um so we'll be driving and it is going to be so much fun. Look at all my eggs for today, you guys. We're at the point now where I need to start donating them because we have a lot of eggs. Oh, Sam loves the puppy, you guys. He needed this. You needed a puppy. Who do you think? So, first Sophie kind of took her over and then Sam stole her back. That's right, he stole her back. Okay, so every single night I sit here on this little bench and... We let the chickens out in the front. We let them out every single night after we feed the goats. So we let them out every single night and watch what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. It's our little chicken army. So I just sit here and I throw all these snacks for them. And when I go in at night, they literally come right up to the door and are like, let me in. Okay, watch, here comes my turkeys. I love them, they're coming. <laughs> uh oh, look at Mrs. Stalker over there. Somebody's stalking. You see her? Look, you can hardly tell. She's like the size of the chickens, the height of the chickens. Oh, here they come. That's the boy. Clearly our dogs are used to chickens. Come here, will you take it out of my hand? Usually the turkeys will take it right out of my hand. <laughs> come 
Yeah, baby. This is, I don't think this is my turkey, my turkey either. Where's my turkey? So here she is. This is Clarabelle. <laughs> she just hops right up on my lap. And she's so sweet. Like, I can't believe how sweet she is. All right, today she just wants my food. But she's the only one that just jumps right up on my lap. Apparently, apparently Tom likes me now too. Sam, you're pretty close to that turkey. And the whole time Ellie just sits here right with me, making sure that I'm okay. And then there's our, our herd dog over there. <laughs> I don't know what she's eating. Hey, hey, hey. Kirby, Kirby. And there's our other guard dog over there. The very last ones to come are the guineas down there, but actually the ducks are usually the last ones and the ducks haven't even shown up yet. So I think they're probably swimming. Tom Turkey just chased Daisy, but Daisy's deaf and had no idea that the turkey was chasing him. And then the turkey just stopped and Daisy had no idea. <laughs> the ducks finally made it. <laughs> this is literally like being at the zoo. It's just so fun for me. I just sit out here, everybody comes. Hello! Tom, <laughs> bite me. That's my skin. I've got the guineas here with me now. Think how fun this would be. My friend brings her little girls over here and this is all they want to do all day is feed the chickens. Here come the posse. <laughs> Someone was commenting that having too many male ducks to a female duck is bad and it absolutely is. If you've ever been to a petting zoo and you've seen what ha you probably have seen what happens. Um, we're definitely getting rid of two of our male ducks. Oh my gosh, I think that turkey's trying to climb in the car. Don't you know that you're beautiful?